10 most disturbing things caught on home security camera footage. Ah. Uh. I'm scared, even though it's a daylight. This first video, this house owner would wake up one morning to find his cell phone completely missing. The house owner lives alone, and this would be enough to make him check his home security cameras. And disturbingly, this would reveal what had actually happened. Rather than showing the house owner simply misplace his phone, the cameras had clearly caught some unknown man walking around inside the house. It turns out the man let himself in through an unlocked back door and only minutes later can be seen crawling around the bedroom of the house owner, who the whole time was asleep and completely unaware of what was taking place just a few feet away from him. The man can be seen stealing the house owner's phone, which would end up being the only thing stolen. But most disturbingly is the fact that the man can be seen holding a knife in his mouth, which proves this man came prepared for confrontation. Had the house owner woken up during the break-in, Things definitely could have ended a lot worse than just a stolen cell phone. Bro, he thinks he's a dog. I have a knife in my mouth. Not oh, a toothpick. This home security footage was captured in the middle of the night, and it shows a man dressed in a Michael Myers costume walk into frame and eventually run up to the house's front door. The man can be seen holding what looks like a knife and wastes no time in trying to open the door. After realizing it's locked, the man simply walks off, but only to return two more times to again try and open the door. What is he, retarded? On the third try, the man can even be seen attempting to use his knife to assist him in getting the door open. But luckily, after being unsuccessful, the house owners would never see this supposed home intruder again. This is why you need cameras that shoot fucking guns. They need to build those like laser shooting early cameras. Morning in July of 2016, a woman living in Chicago would discover that her purse had gone missing. Both the woman and her boyfriend would attempt to retrace their steps in the hopes of locating where it had been left and this would ultimately lead them to go back and check the footage of their home security camera. But horrifyingly, when they would rewind the footage to 3.30 a.m., it would reveal a hooded figure walking around the upstairs of their house. No! Oh my gosh. Only a few hours prior, the couple had mistakenly fallen asleep on the couch watching TV which would cause them to forget to lock the doors into their house. And this would allow for the intruder to get inside the house completely undetected. Isn't that crazy? Like, the intruder. Sorry. Isn't that crazy? Like the one time you don't lock your door, somebody breaks in. You could like leave it unlocked the rest of the year. Nothing happens. The one day you forget to... It's crazy. Would ...stand at the top of the stairs for around 10 full minutes, seemingly contemplating whether to go down the stairs or not. But finally, he would leave with nothing but the woman's purse. Some other nearby residents had reported to have seen the same guy around the neighborhood and had even caught him on camera again lurking around. But the guy still hasn't been caught. What a retard. Look at the way this guy walked. Look at him. This couple was on vacation in Zimbabwe. The house they were staying at had a pool. And so on the night of October 27th, 2016, they can be seen by one of the home's security cameras going for a late night swim. And that's when practically out of nowhere, a crocodile can be seen walking up to and eventually leaping into the pool. Yo. This oh. would obviously cause the couple to desperately attempt to get out of the water. Luckily, both of them would survive, with the woman only receiving minimal bro. cuts on her shoulder and elbow. And the crocodile would later be relocated back into the wild where no human contact was possible. Thank God this was a fucking live leak video. Hello to those who enjoy the sky. In their own if you life, watch live leak videos, you're a sick person. You're sick in the head. And you should burn in hell. At health first, health. If you like, there's people that enjoy people watching other people get their heads chopped off. This video features a montage of clips taken over the course of around five months. The first clip is in January 2017 and shows a man in a car pull up next to a woman asking her if she needed a ride. 
The woman would respond saying she lived just right here, but would later go on to regret telling the man this, as just the next day, the same car can be seen lingering around just outside her home. The fuck is he cooking? Over the course of the next few days, the car can continually be seen driving by watching the house. What the fuck? Bro, does he not have a life? Oh my god. Five years later, the car still drives. Like, oh my god, bro. What the fuck kind of sicko is this? Six days later. What the fuck, bro? What is his intentions? Eventually, the man is able to confront the woman again. And this time tells her he could use some help around his house. The woman would obviously refuse to help the man but this wouldn't stop him. Later, the same man can be seen, this time in a different car, leaving a note in the house's mailbox. The note again stated that he could use some help around the house, but this time he wrote down his phone number. The woman obviously wouldn't call the number. GG's buddy, I'm calling the cops. Call the police to report the situation. One comment suggested that the man was most likely just waiting for the right moment to snatch the woman. If 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 all that's because he's horny, bro, just pay for a fucking prostitute. Oh my god, if you could pay for two fucking cars, you could pay for a prostitute. You don't have to be a fucking criminal, you fucking retard. It shows the house owner's three daughters playing on their backyard trampoline. But after only a few seconds of this, a man in a white van can be seen pulling up next to them. The man would then attempt to lure the children inside his van by offering them donuts. The oldest of the three girls, obviously understanding the danger of the situation, would quickly grab her sisters, getting them inside. Pedophile. Pedophile fuck. W sister, W sister. She was raised right. And the man would drive off shortly after. In January of 2018, a woman named Noelle Bracy would claim to have been hearing various sounds outside of her bedroom window. Disturbed by this, she would set up a live camera outside in an attempt to catch whoever or whatever it was. And that's when she caught a man she'd never seen before walk up to her bedroom window and try to look inside. After a few seconds, the man would notice the camera and quickly walk away. But shortly after, he would return and steal the camera. Noelle believes this man that she caught on camera had been looking into her bedroom window for at least three weeks. Three weeks again! Three weeks, get a job! If you're that horny, get a prostitute! Oh my god, you criminal! You deserve to die, get your dick cut off in front of the whole world. This footage Public shows execution. walking around a house looking for various valuables. The guy had only broken into the house seconds earlier by smashing a window. And while this was going on, the house owner's kid and their babysitter were out running errands. But when they returned, unknown to them, the intruder was on the top floor of the house. The kid can be seen walking around the kitchen, but when the babysitter heard footsteps upstairs, she can be seen frantically grabbing the kid and running outside to the neighbor's house, shortly after followed by the intruder running away. That's the intruder? the intruder himself was never caught. I thought he was the kid. This man was sitting in his backyard in Australia when one of his home what security his cameras captured a snake slithering across the screen. While the man had his no, back to it, not the and dog. Couldn't Fuck see it the guy. Right what about next the dog? Him, his dog would notice the creature and even go after it. This would alert the man and allow him to get both himself and his dog a safe distance away. Pick up your dog! The fuck? What makes this clip so disturbing is the fact that the snake was an eastern brown snake, which is the second most venomous snake in the world. 
a snake that's responsible for about 60% of snake bite deaths in Australia. And it went right past his foot, bro. This home security camera was recording in the middle of the night, when from the right side of the screen, multiple orb looking blurs can be seen coming into view. They look to fly across the screen behind the house's fence, but it's clear something went over the fence. Many comments claim to have thought the video was in some way related to the paranormal. Though, one comment suggested the blurs looked like kids running by and throwing jackets over the fence. The comment went on to guess it was a group of teenagers who had just committed a criminal offense and were trying to ditch their jackets There's like so eight. to make it harder to be identified by law enforcement. There was like a bunch of kids though, and wouldn't they look clear? Like from... That's not that far of a distance. Why would... Why would it be so blurry and why would they throw their jackets even if no kid is that smart? Oh, we got to throw the jackets as evident. That doesn't even make sense. Enforcement. But it's still unclear what is really Those are ghosts, buddy. Cope, whoever's saying their kids is retarded. Those are ghosts. Cope. Ghosts are fucking real. Paranormal stuff is real. Aliens are real. Stop saying, oh, no, it's just kids. Why, why would kids. First of all, why would there be 10 kids running and then two of them threw their jacket? That doesn't even make sense, bro. Be for real. Anyways, let's end it there, I guess. Um, You like Pornhub? Well, you'll love Pornhub Live. Like and subscribe. Thank you.